Hey everybody, it's me, Megs, and I'm doing an updated foundation routine for the spring slash summer months because yes, it's getting warmer outside. So the very first thing I did do was wash and moisturize my face. My face was exfoliated because I want a nice clean palette for my makeup application. So I did use my MAC lip conditioner just to prep my lips to make sure they're nice and juicy and moisturized for my makeup. My primer I'm going to use is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Perfecting Primer or Poreless Priming something. <laughs> the name of that will be down in the description. So I'm just going to apply this in my T-zone. The areas that I know that get really, really oily because, you know, it's going to be warm outside. We want to make sure we prime our face. Um, now, for my foundation, I'm going to be using my um, MAC. Is this face and body studio is a studio face and body and I'm gonna apply this with a flat foundation brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and stipple it on and then swirl 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 <laughs> with this flat foundation brush and this um this foundation is super super sheer it's very lightweight um sheer coverage but you can definitely build the coverage to your liking to so maybe about medium in my opinion medium coverage so um yeah I wouldn't you know, suggest if you're looking for something for full coverage that you would use a face and body. But I wanted to use this because it lets my skin breathe because it is going to be kind of hot. And I want to make sure my skin still looks flawless. Now what I am going to do, I'm going to go into my uh, Studio Fix Fluid. And this is an NC50. And I'm actually going to use this as a purpose of concealing like my scars that I have. Um, you guys may not notice them, but I do have a, a couple scars in the T-zone area. So I only put like a drop. And I'm just going to blend out those areas that needed a little extra coverage. So this is kind of like a way of using you know how people would conceal I just use that in a way to conceal those areas um, now I'm gonna use my LA girl pro concealer and I'm gonna kind of warm this up in my hands because you know when it's sitting in your drawer it kind of gets a little watery so I'm gonna warm up the product and then place the product on the back of my hand to help warm it up too using my studio fix um, I mean fix plus and I'm gonna spray my beauty blender and now I'm going to highlight my face and this beauty blender you know sprayed with fix plus definitely helps me blend out my highlight and you know just make sure that everything goes on really really nice especially since the product was warmed up on the back of my hand it definitely melts into my skin I know right now it does seem a little bit bright like ooh no it's too much it's too bright but once I blend it out with the beauty blender it looks you know amazing in my personal plan opinion now I know my foundation routine isn't going to be everyone's cup of tea but it's my cup of tea and I drink it okay and I drink all of it <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and blend away using the back end of the Beauty Blender to help, you know, blend those lines that I may see. And this color that I'm using by um, LA Girl is Warm Sand. And I will have all the names of all the products um, that I used on my face in the description too, so you can check that out. So just make sure everything is nicely blended. And now I'm going to go ahead and highlight my cheeks. That's your chin, Megan, not your cheeks. Oh, okay. <laughs> now I'm going to do my Cupid's bow. And now I'm going to use the tip of my beauty blender. And I'm going to highlight my nose. I personally really enjoy highlighting. It's just my personal preference. You don't have to, but I just love the way my makeup looks when I highlight. It just adds a little extra, you know, because I like to be extra. <laughs> And go ahead and blend away, especially in that nose area. I feel like in, you know, recent months, my, you know, contour of my nose has gotten a little bit better. And my highlight has gotten a little bit better on my nose. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide, I mean, contour Megan with this uh, MAC Match Master in number 9. And I really like this because it's a nice, warm, rich color. I'm really into my contours being very warm just because it... You know, warms up the face and contouring definitely adds dimension to my face because I always had a pretty round face. Um, so contouring definitely, you know, um, brings out those wonderful features that you may have. And it just, it just looks amazing. I love contouring and highlighting. So I'm going to blend everything out with my Beauty Blender. And again, I sprayed my Beauty Blender with Fix Plus just to help blend everything, you know, out. And make sure everything looks decent, you know. 
just blend it out. <laughs> and as you can see, that contour is really, really warm, and that's my favorite right now. So again, I'm going to use my Fix Plus on a beauty um, sponge, and I'm going to blend out my nose. I'm just going to use some tapping motions on this disposable wedge. And I notice that this really helps kind of get those lines just by, you know, simple taps. And, you know, definitely take your time with this because you don't want to have, like, a road map on your nose. Like, all these lines. Like, girl, where are we going? Like, do I follow the lines? <laughs> so, I'm, I'm going to take my beauty blender and, you know, tap, you know, those harsh lines that I may see. Now, I'm going to take my Ben Nye Banana Luxury Powder and I'm going to set those highlighted areas where I put that concealer. So, since it's going to be warmer, I'm going to be kind of, you know... I wouldn't say heavy, but I'm going to make sure it's, you know, set down, you know. So I'm using patting motions to really press in that concealer into my skin because I don't want my face to melt off. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and use patting motions to make sure, you know, everything is put into place. Like that. And I've come to love banana powder once again. I found a way that it works well. Um, it's just, I really like it now. I have a love-hate relationship with banana powder. So I'm going to go ahead and set my nose, set my cupid's bow, and then I'm going to set my chin. Like that. And then after this, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. And I do have an eyebrow video coming up that you guys can check out. So I highlighted my forehead and then I blend it out with my beauty blender. And then I'm going to go ahead and set with my banana powder with the wedge. Like that. Now I'm going to take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark and Dark Deep. The first color I'm going to use is Dark Deep and I'm going to go ahead and blend out my highlight and set my foundation also in the unhighlighted areas. So the dark deep is used to kind of like blend everything together and set my makeup. So it's like I'm brushing away the excess powder from the banana powder and setting and toning down the highlight at the same time. If that makes any sense. <laughs> so I use two colors. Now in the highlighted areas, um, I'm going to use um, dark. And that will go ahead and, you know, um, tone down the highlight too. So everything eventually gets blended away. So I use dark deep in my perimeter and then just dark on the highlighted areas. Just very, very small amounts of powder, not too much. I'm not putting a gang of powder. It's just mainly to blend out any harsh lines that I may see on my face from contour and highlighting. And plus it also, this mineralized skin finish, loose, it adds a really nice kind of satin glow to my face. Now I'm going to use my Iman, I think this is called Earth Tone um, Powder, and I'm going to set my contoured area of my forehead just to help warm that up too. And now I'm going to use my Black Radiance Rich Mahogany, and I'm going to contour my nose and kind of set that cream that I had on my nose also. So this just helps the cream pop just a little bit. I didn't put too much of this on because I already contoured. Now using the LA Girl Pro Powder, the high definition setting powder, is very, very fine. I really love this powder. And I'm just going to set the areas that got oily. This is totally optional. This isn't really a part of my routine, but it was so hot. My face started to get shiny, so I had to set, you know, like my eyebrow area. So it may look a little kind of you know, whitish now, but once it kind of oxidizes, it looks amazing. So this is my completed summer routine. And then I'm going to go ahead and, you know, you know, apply my makeup. And this is kind of like how my makeup will look. Um, my foundation. And, you know, you got to take some pictures of yourself because you think you cute now. Get out, cute, cute. <laughs> if you guys do have any questions, feel free to ask me, as I said before. And a full product listing will be down in the description for you to check out of all the products and names and colors of the things I used on my face. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.